Okay, we're back from uh, the Repticon San Bernardino um, for one of the most boring unpackings you'll ever see, probably. <laughs> uh, we didn't end up picking up any animals. Uh, a lot, there was a lot that tempted us, a lot that got me thinking. Uh, the red-eyed crocodile skinks, I was real close on. Uh, if, if I had a little, if I was a little more prepared, um, and uh, uh, there was a couple of really nice blue tongue skink babies that, that caught my attention. Some gorgeous retics, which I'm not in the market for. Uh, a lot of a lot of crested geckos, just none none in the size that we were looking for, um, you know, that we wanted that worked for us. And a lot of ball pythons, uh, but nothing really, you know, not too heavy in the market right now. And Raina is the expert on that, and she didn't go with us. So, so anyways, how um, what I did up getting was a gorgeous piece of. Uh, of wood for the uh, boa tank, our little, our little baby boas are they're growing a little bit, and I got a nice big uh, front opening Exoterra glass tank that we're going to be moving them into, and so this will be a centerpiece for that, which I'm very excited about. A bunch of grape wood, and uh, I got a few of these. Actually, another one that I already put in another tank, just little hides for the lizards. Uh, I think I'm going to put these, this one in for the abronias. Is that there's one that seems to hang around more on the bottom, so if you're gonna give them a little place to hide on the bottom, and I threw one in the front terrarium, and we also picked up uh, you know, some eco earth, always good to have, can't go wrong there. We had good deals on that stuff, and a little cork tube for the crested gecko, the female. She, she's got toilet paper rolls in there right now, so upgrade. All right, that's all. That's all. Sorry, nothing too exciting there this time. Um, but not a bad show. I was, uh, was impressed. Much better than the one that we went to in Hemet. Uh, good variety of animals. Some nice vendors. Uh, I also I may have found a line on a female false water cobra from a guy that's from Arizona. He said they that there was some bounce around back there. So uh, I'll be looking for that tomorrow. I'll get shoot him an email. I'll follow up. in San Bernardino. Uh, it's a small show, but uh, not too far from home, so we thought I'd come out and check it out, see what they got, and look for uh, false water cobras. I hope. Still looking for that female. Um, got a line on a, on a little hatchling, but uh, still looking for a, an adult. Maybe some crested geckos. And, uh, see what they got out here. Let's go check it out. That's a, that's a panther, and they have the best colors. Those guys are cool. cool. Those are the he's a ground yeah, chameleon, so, right? It's like Christmas getting a Madagascarian ship. Yeah. Uh, this is Madagascar. Yeah. Look at the tail. Yeah. Yeah. Those so are weird. so rare in captivity. They live two years. Uh, so uh, the cycle of life and reproducing them is very challenging. How, how old is that? Oh yeah. I have no idea. Probably two years old. But all in all, good time. Good time. Um, so until next time, people appreciate it.